Good morning. Here is today's word of blessings for you. Revelation 7 13 to 17. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes who are they, and where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation, they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple, and he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Never again will they hunger, never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, he will lead them to springs of living water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Today's title is From Where to Where. The most fundamental questions in our lives are where are we from and where are we headed to? Everybody has these questions whether they have explicitly said it or not. All the religions and philosophies basically raised the questions and pursued the answers to the questions. But we find the answers nowhere else but in God's Word. What's the biblical answer to those fundamental questions? The Word of God says that we are all from God and we are headed to the eternal residence determined by God. The Bible says that our life began with God. I will not attempt here to provide evidence of our beginning from God although they are countless. The Bible in the same convincing way shows our final destination. According to the Bible, we either go back to the eternal presence of God or to the eternal place that is completely devoid of the presence of God. Today's passage shows a group of people who went back to the presence of God and how. Revelation 7 9 says after this, I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. The great multitude of people is those who finally reached at the presence of God. One of the elders asked, who are they and how did they get here? The answer was that they are believers who suffered for their faith in the world but were washed white in the blood of the Lamb. Three things are noticeable here. First, a great multitude of people from every nation and tribe will go to the presence of God. There is absolutely no discrimination in heaven. Secondly, going through tribulation in the world doesn't mean that you are out of God's grace. Tribulation for faith rather is the hallmark of your faith. Finally, we go to the glorious presence of God when we are washed white in the blood of the Lamb. I am sure washed implies that they used to filthy with sins. So all sinners who trust in the cleansing blood of the Lamb regardless of their nationalities, races, colors, and hold on to the faith even through the tribulation are entitled to go to the glorious presence of God. I am so happy that I am one of the sinners washed white in the blood of the Lamb. I earnestly wish you to be one too. There are no better blessings than this on heaven and earth. Amen.